Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. For those of you who are new, I'm Shanice and welcome to the family. This is the final day in Florence and we are heading to the Florence market. I'm thinking that Florence is becoming my favorite city so far in Italy because it just has a really nice calm vibe about it and it's sort of like a romantic feel as well and even the night time is very nice I kind of wish that we stayed about two more nights in Florence but we did not this is not what we did we did not plan to stay two more nights so hopefully we will be back in Florence another time because I am really loving it we're free to roam as you can see free to roam walk, her, walk around and it's not as crowded as Rome which I also love but I love Florence more so this is what I'm wearing to the Florence market What what is what 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 the, what the hell is going on there? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Oh yeah. yeah. We're right in front of the Piazza della Signoria. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Yes. And you can see all the arts all around. Well, naked people. <laughs> so like I told you we're heading to the marketplace but we chose not to take transport not to take the bus because we really wanted to see the city and Florence is a city where you like you can really enjoy a stroll you can really enjoy a walk there like this morning it's it's really calm taking the walk we don't even feel like it's a 25 minute walk only more than half year yeah so if you're coming to florence or if you if you plan on coming or going to florence because i don't live here um i think it, it's a it's a city where you can just roam This is a leather market. Yeah. And we are in the market. It smells it so good. For the food. Yeah, we came mainly for the food here. Yeah. Upstairs has like downstairs is more produce and upstairs more restaurants and stuff. Wow. <laughs> that smells so good. Yeah. This place smells so good, eh? We gotta try. We gotta find our friends in here first, and then we'll get back to recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call, I call an order for. Uh -huh. Well, you tell me he order something for us to eat, and then he brings me here. Yeah, man. <laughs> she like it. What happened in there? Y'all eat there? Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Then I back there. That had two og. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I'm trying to get a breakfast before I can actually have a Florentine. 
clean. So you got your thing? I I got a capital. I cannot do an espresso. An espresso is too powerful. Yeah. Yeah. The cappuccino is what the pasta have in it. It has raspberry jam inside. And I took a little bite at the tip before filming. <laughs> and it tastes very, very, very nice. The pasta is one. Look at the jam on the inside. I get ready to eat a lot more quarantine food before I leave here today. So we're having some pizza from Le Nostre. <laughs> I'm really trying with the Italian, but I'm trying with the Italian. You understand? So, um, but we're having some pizza. We're having some with some salami or ham slices. We will show you in a little while. Ooh, it's here. Now we are trying some wings. We try to see how it tastes compared to how we prepare our barbecue wings back in St. Lucia. This Shani's mom is a master griller. Yep. So we're going to compare this chicken to Miss Emma's grilled chicken. So Miss Emma, I hope you, you win, but if you lose, you owe some money. Shani's is having a carrot juice. Yeah, it has ginger, carrot, and some, some other things I cannot really remember. And I'm having a pineapple juice. It's freshly squeezed. Everything is fresh. Let's go. Alright, Shen is going in there now. <laughs> Steamy. Mmm, that's, that's good. That's some good wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's between MI, okay. but it's different. Yeah, it's different. You can tell it's, some, um, it's been seasoned totally different than how we do our thing. But it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So the chicken was great. But Emma Cox win, Emma Cox win. Chicken was very good. So you can imagine how good Emma Cox's chicken is. Yeah, a little, yeah. No idea. The seasoning? One point. 
cow intestine and stuff had been boiled for hours. That's what it is. <laughs> See, so Alexi now, I don't take a bite yet. So Alexi now has to try the lamp ridotto. Nope, At least taking one little bite. She one little bite. No a tiny, 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 tiny bite. Tiny, 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 tiny. Not even a tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny. Mm. Like a little nibble, like. Peer pressure. Mm-hmm. 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 Guys, we just left the market and we're walking through the city. We came across a number of stores. Check them out. There, there were stores with good leather hair. Some of them pricier than others, but there are a lot of good stuff here. If you're coming to Florence to shop that in. But our main goal was to, yeah. Well, we bought this for my brother Jordan and Huxley, since they, they didn't have a case for their glasses. It's leather, 100% leather. But if you're coming for the experience, the food is great as well. Made in Italy. But it's, it's small, it's pretty small. I think so, you know, really just them chicken, chicken people. So you guys saw the guy, well, around the corner, the guy we came from. He is an artist, he defines himself as an artist on Instagram and it's kind of fascinating to see how he moves. He moves very slowly and if sometimes he freezes for a period of time and when you drop the money he calls you with his fingers and he prays. It looks like he's praying for the people who drop the money in the box for him. So that's so fascinating like a performance. <laughs> Taking a, a sip of the yes. elixir shop, the sort. Yeah. That we got at Shake Cafe. Ginger lemon and cayenne pepper. Street. Ginger root, sorry. Yes. Oh. Next. Oh. Play your sinuses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you must it. Yeah, try and hold strong, hold it strong. Yeah, chip it wet, but now it's a heat on me. Yeah, we can't get sick for about a whole two months. One more? One more? I think that's enough. Finishing it. Let's hope we all can do that. Take a sip and I go back to it. Back up. Boy! Elixir. Boy! <laughs> Boy! I breathe in fire day. Boy! We just came from our Airbnb. We actually took a little rest before we came back out. We're tired, we're tired. Yeah, we're tired because <laughs> we've just been moving and enjoying everything. So we took a little rest and we're out again this evening. To just see 
the sunset there's this viewing point very close to where we're staying that we would like to see we would like to see and probably snap some photos or take some videos there and we said we would grab some pizza also nearby before returning back to our airbnb and just having a, a little calm night because it's it's been a lot of movement before we take our bus tomorrow to head to Spain. Oh wow, that's pretty good. We're climbing to the viewing point. It's not it's not too far. It's about an 18 minute walk from where we stay. Yeah, but we can see the orange lights like the sun is setting already. So we're trying to beat it. Guys, we made it to the top of the viewing point and it's so, so, so pretty up there. It's so beautiful up here. And let me, let me let you see. And it's like the golden hour. <laughs> Take the bottle, you too. <laughs> Guys, it was truly a beautiful day in Florence. A beautiful final day here. I wish we were staying longer, but we're not. So hopefully, we'll be back in Florence for another few days maybe next year or the year after but Florence is a place that you must visit <laughs> it's very very beautiful back home in St. Lucia we have beautiful sunsets and this one was just a little bit different it felt as if the sun was a little closer so it's quite an experience I am going to close the video now so if you like this video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post another video. Our next vlog will be in Spain. We'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>